new tonight, a Papillion family is asking for a miracle. Their daughter is in critical condition. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. A family friend tells us 10-year-old Abby Whitford was walking in a crosswalk in downtown Papillion yesterday afternoon when a car hit her. Right now, community members are coming together for a special prayer service. Reporter Phil Bergman is live at St. Columkill Church in Papillion tonight. Phil. Hey Jenny, we decided to come out to the outside where the accident was right now at the corner of 2nd and Washington. Here, people have started to put flowers and balloons out for Abby saying, hope you feel better soon. Right now, a message of hope for the 10 year old Abby. It's been a tough day for the Papillion community and right now they're looking for answers on how an accident like this could have happened. It's supposed to be a slow road, but you, you can see they, they go by here, zip, 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 all day long. The dangerous intersection in downtown Papillion has a child in the ICU. These are the th types of things we never like to see and deal with. Uh, unfortunately, they do happen. Around 3.53 Tuesday afternoon, Sarpy County 911 received the call. It looks like someone got hit by a car. A little girl just got trampled and flipped over by a car. Officers arrived on the scene two minutes later. It happened at the scene behind me. Uh, two young children were in the crosswalk crossing the street when one of the children was struck. The children aged 6 and 10 were crossing the street when a vehicle came from the outside lane and struck 10-year-old Abby Whitford. The driver was a 19-year-old female from the area. The driver called 911 and stayed at the scene after paramedics arrived. It's very traumatic. Um, our hearts are with the little girl and with the family. Though there's no red lights here, the community of Papillion's taking precautions to prevent injuries at this crosswalk. They have a lighted sign here that lights up when walkers want to go across the street and children have the right of way. Think of it as a school going to the library here. You've got kids, you know, that's that's what you should do. When it comes to a traffic standpoint, I don't think there's a day that goes by that we're not talking about trying to help uh, this community be better. Thoughts and prayers are felt throughout the community, but at the same time, residents want accidents like these to be prevented. If you see lights all the way across the road, you should heed those uh, warnings. This is a community that's hurting right now in regards to what happened. Officers are still investigating whether speed was a factor. They also have a cell phone and they're gonna look at the data to see if a phone was involved. I talked with Abby's karate teacher. He called her a young bundle of joy, energetic, and that said that she loves doing cartwheels. Abby's family friends have put up a GoFundMe page and are looking to raise funds for her medical costs. Reporting here in Papillion, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now.